conduct. And remember, guys, I'm fair, but I'm firm. Touch him up. Daniel, speed, baby. In the action. Tour's got to make certain that when he gets him against the rope, he misses him. Don't throw unless your feet are right there, too. Lewis. Round two begins with Lewis sticking the jab, sticking the jab, sticking the jab, sticking the jab. Stick it. Stick. You got to do something to make Lewis want to fight. There you are. That's the punch that's going to make Lewis decide, I'm getting even. Left hook by Tua. And another left hook by Tua. And a vicious left to the belly. Lewis got to make certain it stays the left hand, left jab. Lennox seems to have regained his concentration. And Tua hits him. Jab your way. Keep your title with a left jab. If that's the only punch you can land, use it. Well, what he succeeded in doing in this round is messing up to his hair and just landing more punches. And landing a right hand, which Tua answered with a leaping left. And he's going to interrupt you, and it's going to hurt you. There you are. There's Don't go over on that side. Stay on the corner. Joe Cortez was right by moving it back into the corners. 28, 29, 29, 28. David Tua is an entirely more dangerous opponent. Oh. Right hand by Lewis. I mean, he's zero. And holding him as he found himself in the corner. And there's another right hand that he pops David on hand with much greater frequency here in this round. Tua pops him upstairs with his... George Lewis hasn't used a single uppercut. And it was a hugely effective punch for him, particularly in the second Holyfield fight. Is he waiting to set it up? Yeah, he's waiting. Tua is moving his leg. Blood coming he crosses from his leg. When he goes to his left, he crosses his legs. Yeah, he's just sitting right up now. for a right hand. He's, there's blood coming from Tua's nose. Toward the end of round five, as David Tua misses, misses, and... You heard Emmanuel Stewart say to Lewis, you were fighting a masterpiece in that round. He makes Lewis miss, and then he makes him pay. Tua, Tua misses. You can't just decide, I'm going to tactically take the title away from a good champion like this. Yeah, it's hard to imagine, even though Harold Letterman has Tua ahead on the scorecards, it's really hard to imagine Tua winning a tactical boxing match. It can't happen. You feel as though he's got to use his artillery. Before, because this guy comes from on high with this thing. Now Lewis back to the round one action. There was a big feeling, as you were starting to get to a moment ago, Larry, in Tua's camp, that Lewis lacked stamina, and they'd be able to wear him down over a long haul. Now, Lewis was trying to pay him back. Who is going to make Lewis his stamina a factor in the fight? He's going to have to step up the right side. Want him to move him to his left, and he's jabbing him. That's the problem here. So that's the reason that a guy who threw 75 punches around against him in tonight and looks sensational the next time. Well, why, why should he go and stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the shorter, very strong fighter and give the other fighter his best chance? To the rhythm of following Lewis around and takes another right hand. Tua's got to get close, and maybe you got to step sometimes. That keeps the left, the right foot too far behind him. Just step on up there. Step on up there. Tua's has come from another direction. It's like dropping a, a pin from a 20-story <laughs> building. There's the long right hand lands for Lewis right after the jab. Classic one-two. And it doesn't appear Tua has a chance. Woo! Big combination, and Tua smiles. You know why? Because he was hurt. That means Lewis is close enough. Go! Big left hook for Tua. Yeah, but he had his, it went right into Lewis's glove. It's again how Lennox blocks David's left hook. Yeah, well, Lewis has him where he wants him now because David wants to come in, is looking to come right, in, and Lewis knows it. But here, as you saw, as I said earlier, his right hand is first. So you take away the strength and challenge them to beat you some other way. Fighting for the title, you can't be afraid to get knocked out. That's and the there's the uppercut for the first time, and it wobbles to him. Look, look at his tactical command and his physical superiority. There you go, Tua. Now, just as I say that, he finally catches a left hook from Tua, but one punch at a time. Ooh, that right to the body hurt David Tua. Lennox is hurting him with a lot of punches. This worked hard enough in the early rounds, George, as we were saying, so that... He... Lennox Lewis is just toying with him. Just Pot toying shot. with him. Pot shot. Does whatever he wants to do. Right hand, left jab, right hand, right hand. It's all Lennox Lewis. Got it. So this is not a style preview to Tyson Lewis because Mike would just be a heck of a lot more rambunctious. 
There's no way he'd go Texas. It's his zeal to fight. It's his will to train and aware that David Tua has this power. Still not taking any chances. She's not a fool. He has turned to his face into a swelling, bloody mask. Jab. Jab. This is really a great fight. Body shot. Jabbing and moving. And this is a lights out artistic performance by a heavyweight champion who for the moment looks impregnable. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the Mandalay Bay Resort Casino of Las Vegas, we go to the Budweiser scorecards. Jerry Roth scores the bout 117 to 111. Dave Moretti has it 119 to 109. And Chuck Jappa scores it 118 to 110. All for the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the universally recognized, undisputed heavyweight champion of the world from Great Britain, Lennox Lee!